Okay, can everybody hear me? <clears throat> Does anyone have any questions that I'm going to give a quick short lecture? Any questions? <laughs> Did anyone not do this today? Did anyone not do the ones today? Anyone in the world? Mary didn't do it. Delta didn't do it. Too spready. That's, I mean, it was a huge stop. That's fine. That's okay if you didn't. I totally get if you didn't. Why? So if you didn't do anything today, that was okay. <coughs> Eclipse Trader didn't do it either. That's fine. That's okay. I would leave it today then if you didn't do this because I really don't think it, it, this afternoon is going to be a time to short. If you're still in this, if anybody is, tell me. But the market's clearly strong. Any questions about anything today before I give a lecture? So this Lulu just ran up again, retested the high, didn't get over. Did you get out of the option, the Galahad? Did you get out? And are those two the only two people that did this? Galahad and uh, Gypsy that are, or that are here in the room? Koala Bear did it? You did not get out of it yet. Why? I said put an order out ahead of this. Why? Why didn't you get out of this yet? Galahad, you're adverse to taking profits. You actually don't want to make money. You actually do not want to make money. If you had an order around and it didn't get filled, you should have put it down right away. So just retest the high and get out of it. You don't want to make money. You actually don't. You just want to take trades and watch them go and knock it out and then lose. You have to get into a habit of booking profits. You should be out of this trade. If you weren't out of 10, when you got a second chance up again, you should have got out. If you had an order around and it didn't fill, you should have pulled it right down right away. It did not get over the high. You don't want to get out of trades with profit, and that is a huge problem. And I can't fix it for you. You don't want money. If you wanted money, you get out when you're up. All right, so let's go over something that I think I want to share with you about, well, let's just talk about today, because I almost didn't do this. And then I did set criteria for myself, and I said, if it squishes, which it did, so we did it. So the bottom line is that the goal of doing this thing, this trading thing, really is what? The goal is getting good. The goal is being good. Because if you're good, you will make money. If you're not good, you won't. I think we can all agree on that. So if you're a good trader, you will be profitable. Now, whether you're profitable a small amount, a little, a medium, or a lot, obviously depends on your risk. But if you are a profitable trader with a small risk, you can increase your risk over time as your account size grows and make more money. So that's an easy fix. So the thing to do is to do what? Is to get good. So it is about getting good. That's where the focus has to be, to being really good at what you do, not just to trade for the sake of trading. So your goal is not just to trade, your goal is to get good. Get good at the system, get good at reading charts, get good at taking entries, get good at sizing yourself, get good at seeing the exits, get good at seeing the targets, get good at reading momentum, volatility, choosing the gaps, knowing when not to trade. Does that make sense? So here, this is breaking the law again. I don't think anyone's in it. I don't think anyone's in it, but it looks like it's gonna go right to 41. So last week reminded me of that even too, because I kept looking at that AOBC, I kept looking at it, looking at it, looking at it. We didn't do anything wrong with that at all. So you will have some days when a gap doesn't work. It doesn't mean you're not a good trader. It doesn't mean you're not good. That's part of doing this thing. There are some days when things don't work right. You cannot predict everything 100%. 
but you want to try to be able to predict everything with as high as an accuracy rate as you possibly can. And the only way that you can do that is get good. And if you get good, it doesn't matter if you're risking $200 a trade or $2,000, you will be profitable and then you will get better over time. So the goal is to get good. So if you are not where you want to be with your trading, then try to figure out where you need to improve. Some of you already know where that is. Galahad, you don't take profits. You're always looking for too big of a targets. So you look at the things that you're doing so you can try to improve for 2018. And if you're already doing good, then you, you may not have to improve anything. Any questions? Some of you do need to review some things with the system. Next day, one day, next week, after the class, we're going to take a day, I think it's going to be the 19th, and we're going to go over gap ratings. I don't know how we're going to do it. I had some people that wanted to volunteer, whether we do it through Skype and I have the room open. I have to talk to Kathy if we can make that work. If we can't, we'll still review ratings in the room with questions to help everybody. So I think it's going to be on the 19th, all right? You don't consider $461 big. And that right there is the problem. Any amount of money that you make, you should be grateful for. What is wrong with $461? That is your problem. You would rather lose a thousand bucks, swing for the fences to try to get this up to 77, which it very well might do. And if it does, you will be miserable. You will be miserable all week. If tomorrow this goes to 77, you will be miserable and you will continue to make the same mistakes, which is hold every trade to some big number. Because one out of every five trades will go to some big number. But that doesn't mean that you hold them all that way and, and you're losing money doing that. So it, you don't need to be worrying about big numbers, Galahad. You should just be happy when you're up and you are in trades and you're not getting out. That number, add a comma to it, would be much, much different if you'd listened to me a year ago, which you didn't. You would be up less now if you didn't listen to me where I said take out of it because who knows what this does right in here I said that was probably the high of the day and I might have been correct I didn't know for sure but looking at this here twice to try to get over that number couldn't do it you don't sound grateful if you're saying you don't consider it big the goal the goal is not to is not to be big the goal is to be good that's my point that's my point the goal is to be good here I'm going to tell you a story Friday was a crazy day as you know did anybody do, um, actually, did anybody do the spy long on Friday, which I sent out? I hope some of you did. It worked. Nobody emailed me, so then I, then I wasn't sure if anybody did. <laughs> did anybody go long the spy on sa uh, Friday? Saturday. <laughs> on Friday. Oh, a clips trader did. Very good. So obviously you, 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 you scalped some out of that, right? I mean, I hope that you did. You got out of that with profit, right? It worked and held the stop. You have two chances to get out of it. Gypsy didn't do it. Eclipse Trader got out with money. Good. Anyways, it was a long, long day. And then it just reminded me again. I'm like, gosh, you know, I just want to focus on the morning. But, you know, that's reminding me again how we either only do extremely good gaps this month or any slow period or... We don't do anything because I really do prefer trading the morning. And I don't want to get out of something in 30 seconds or 60 seconds unless it drops into a target or has a move, which, by the way, that AOBC did not do. And it was a long day. And I left the house and was headed to an appointment. And guess what? I got a call to be on TV on a good show at night, but I got the call at 310. I was in a cab in New York on a Friday, which is mayhem for traffic, and they wanted me to be on at 5. Well, the car would have come at 4, 4.10, 4.15 maybe. It was 3.10. I was in traffic. I could have had the cab turn around. By the time I would have got home, it would have been 3.30-ish. Wasn't showered. Why? And just had worked out late because my whole day had gotten screwed up. Why? Because I was in this late trade. So my whole day then 
was totally dismantled because of the fact that I have two points to make. One, my whole day was dismantled then because I ended up doing an afternoon train because the morning one didn't work, which was profitable, but it, it just totally screwed up my whole day because usually it would work out in the morning and take a shower. So I would have been had the workout done and showered when I got the call at 3, 310, which I was not because it got screwed up because of this trade or because of the morning trade in AOBC. So I had to say no. Now, could I have said yes and gone and rushed like a crazy person, got out of the cab, ran home? Yes, I could have done that, but I would not have had time to wash my hair. Absolutely. My, I can't even dry my hair in 30 minutes, let alone wash and dry it. And I wouldn't have had, so I wouldn't have had, had to be able to wash my hair. I would have had to throw together my own hair and makeup, rinsed in the shower, and had to prepare for the topic. So I would have, I, I mean, and run out of the cab. So I said no, because it was just not realistic, okay, for me to, to, to do that in, in that amount of time. But if I had, okay, if my whole day would have been different from the morning trade up until this to the afternoon, then I might have been able to do it, even though it was very last minute, because I only live a couple blocks away. And who knows, I might not even have been in the cab then. You never know how your day goes when everything then starts to not go the way you plan. Anyways, I said no. And then all that night, I must have called everybody that I knew, that I was friends with, that I've been talking to about all these things with television, and said, gosh, you know, I, I hated to have to say no. I hated to have to say no. You know, I want to get on a later show. It just would have been so great. Da, 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 da. And, but it was just, there was just no way. There was no way that I could have done a great job, okay, with the time amount that I had been given to get to the studio. So I said no, and it was the right thing to do. And then I thought about it all weekend. The bottom line is, it just made me think about trading. Sometimes, you know, you just, you, it's, it's about doing the right thing because it is about being good. So although I could have theoretically gotten there in time, I wouldn't have, I mean, I would have tried my best, but I wouldn't have done great. So you want to do great every time. And that's why trading in that time frame and, and for half an hour, for a couple minutes, being that focused in that time, you can be great. It is not realistic for you to be great from 9.30 to 4. For any person, any human being, five days a week, it's just not, okay? Because there's too much stress that happens when you're doing this. Too many, too many variables as the day goes on, too much. So the, the real way that you become successful is realizing the most important thing is being great. So the most important thing for me Friday wasn't to get on. I'll get on at night, soon. The most important thing wasn't getting on. The most important thing was is being great when I'm on. So I said no, all right, which is unfortunate. They just didn't call me early enough. But my day did not work out as planned, and I had to say no too, which reminded me that I much prefer to trade in the morning, and I have too much going on right now. It, it, you know, it, it, you really have to get to that mental state where you say, I want to get great at this. And that's all that matters. Not doing a million trains, not even the amount of money that you're making per train, but that you get really good at doing it. And, it, and if you are, you will make money, just like me. I'm, you know, go on TV and I do great. Everything that I want to happen with it, the whole reason I'm doing it, it's all going to come to me. So it, you have to just think, think, think. And I was thinking about that all weekend, what happened to me, and relating it to you guys that are, you know, wanting to do better with the training, focus on getting really good at this. Any questions? This is still going. You love my philosophy about making money, booking profit, and focusing about getting really good at trading. Yes. I do too. Thank you, Eclipse Trader. The, 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 what the comparison is, the number one thing you, sh you should not be focused on is, is making money. Even though that is your goal, and yes, that's why you're doing it. 
you should be focused on getting good at trading and then you will make money. Because if you're focused just on making money, my God, you could have flipped AOBC on Friday and went long. But in, in your head, that will screw you up doing stuff like that all the time. And many times we get stopped on trades that flip around and we reshort a second time and go on to work. Now that didn't happen with that on Friday, but it very well could have. So you don't want to do that. So the idea and what you must focus on is getting good and then the money will come. Just like with me with TV. The goal is not necessarily to get on, but to be good when I am on. And this just is going to break 41 right now. It's going to go to 40. I don't think anyone else is still in it. Are you? Is anyone else still in it? If we had held this, where are taking it again? See, there really wasn't another entry. That's the problem. There really was no other entry. You would have had to have been in the original trade or at least half. Where did it back up? It, it, did, it did back up negative. I'm just saying this here now. It would have backed up through your price. Not a lot, but enough you would have been like, crap. Here, can everybody hear all the sirens now and the stuff outside from the goings on in Times Square? It's pretty loud. Anyways, good lecture today. I think we're done for the day. You can't hear it? There's a helicopter right outside in front of me. You can't hear it? <laughs> One of these days I'm going to wave to the guys in the, in the things. Well, can't walk around naked today in the apartment. Too many helicopters outside. <laughs> An option to look at the target. Then pick a place to exit right before the target. That way you don't lose time value. That's excellent, Gypsy. That's an excellent plan of action. You learned that on the very first options play. Here, I'll copy and paste this for the room. That might help everybody. It might help Barry. Nice trade today. Thank you. You're welcome. I can't believe you guys don't hear that helicopter. Galahad, did you get out of this? I think you did because you said you made 400 some bucks, which is terrific. And I'm very happy you made money and actually got out with it. All right, we'll see what we get tomorrow, everybody. Have a great day. Stay safe. Um, and I will see you all tomorrow. Barry, we'll talk more. We're going we're gonna to get with you to go over the gaps next week. I'll email you. Okie doke. You're welcome. Thank you.